Hi everybody, welcome back. In this video, I wanna talk about seven of the biggest mistakes that I see that designers and entrepreneurs make on their websites. With my agency, I work a lot with entrepreneurs and designers, creative professionals on building their websites and also reconfiguring or reorganizing their websites. These are seven of the biggest problems that I see all the time. Number one is talking too much about you. People come to your website in order to solve a problem that they have. They don't come to your website to hear you list your resume, to hear you talk all about you. What you need to do on your website is to state what you understand their problem to be. State who you think they are so they can identify with who you are addressing. And then state how you're going to solve that and how you do it better and different than your competitors. Only then do you really start talking about yourself. Number two is doing too much stuff. On websites all the time, I see people who have this huge laundry list of products and services that they offer that I well know they don't really know how to do that well. It's so much better to offer a specialization or a focused list of things that you are that you really excel at so people can understand why they should come to you and what they should come to you for, what it is that you're the best at that you can really help them with. Now, over time, as your skill sets grow and your portfolio grows, you can broaden that list. But it's so much better to really focus down and show what you are really great at. Number three is hiding your work. Now, there are creative professionals who just put their portfolio on the homepage and you jump right in and that's all you see is their portfolio from the very beginning. And I'm going to address that in another one of these points. But I see a lot of the times people who are hiding their portfolios way into their navigation menus, so it's actually kind of hard to find. Or they've broken it down into so many different categories that you have to click through to 15 pages to see a lot of their work. It's always good to offer a gallery of your work that is on a single page that you can scroll through or is a long scrolling page. So people don't have to click through to a whole bunch of different pages to see your work. Because whenever people have to click to another page, you have about a 70% chance that you're going to lose them and they're going to click somewhere else. So making your work really easy to find on your website is super important. Number four is not letting your customers tell your story. People trust other people more than they trust marketing. If people are hearing you crow about yourself, they're going to trust the testimonial of a satisfied customer much more than they are your own opinion of yourself. So make sure on your website to have a testimonials page where you have you know, three or four quotes of satisfied customers, what they've done for you, very specifically how happy they are. Put a few of them on your homepage, but then also have a testimonials page where people can really see the number of people that you've worked for and how many satisfied customers that you have. Number five is being opaque. What I mean by being opaque is not posting any kind of prices or packages on your website. By posting packages or prices, it has a great way of weeding out the unqualified, meaning people who can't afford your services. Because people who can't afford your services are doing nothing but wasting your time. So by posting packages or prices, even at a macro level, to give people an understanding of what you charge, it shows people whether you're junior and just starting off, which is fine, or whether you're very senior and you actually have fees that are significant. By listing these packages, it offers people kind of specifics around what it is that you do. And on your website, it's very easy for you to say, look, you know, every project is different and depending on the scope of the project, prices are going to vary, possibly greatly, but it gives people an idea of who you are and what level you're at. Number six is no about page. You would be surprised how many people I see who don't have an about page. An about page is probably the most important page of your website. When people do want to know about you, about the person behind the brand or behind the company, they want to go to an about page and get a little bit of information on you, professional information, maybe even a tiny bit of personal information to kind of humanize you to them. People do want to know about the real people behind the companies that they work with, but only on their terms. So keeping it on an about page, kind of separate from your homepage where you don't want to be talking about yourself so much, that's where people go when they do want to learn about you. Make sure to have a really good picture of yourself, not just a block of text. You don't want to have a shot from your wedding or a shot from some you know, margarita party that you went to where you've cropped out your friends. You want to have a nice professional photo of yourself 
with a manageable amount of text where people can read about you. And it's also okay to include a sentence or two around your personal interests. So that could be, you know, you like hang gliding, you like motorcycling or whatever that is. So people get an insight into the kind of person that you are. So you're not just a brand bot. And the seventh mistake I see people making on their websites is no thinking. They don't have any kind of content, any kind of blog, any kind of articles on their website at all. People want to know how you think. People want to know that you're smart. They want to know that you know what's going on in your industry. They want to know what you stand for. They want to know that you have a point of view. So having content on your site is important. And if you don't write original content, it's okay to even have a blog or a section of your website where it's just curated content. At least that will show people that you're up on your industry and you have a point of view and you're paying attention. And that by coming to you, they are coming to someone who's staying current and is smart and knows what's going on. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video on seven mistakes that I see designers and entrepreneurs making on their websites. And if you did, please hit subscribe below. And from Verhal Brand Design, my strategic branding and design agency, thank you so much for watching. And if you need help with your brand strategy, your brand design, or your professional creative career, please reach out to me at philipvandusen.com and let's talk about what I can do to help you reach your business goals or your professional goals. And with that, thanks again for watching. Bye for now.